Welcome to our lecture online. The discovery of the Hubble law and then the discovery of the Hubble constant, the constant that defined how fast things were moving away from each other. And when we say things, we're talking about galaxies that are millions and millions of light years apart from each other. All were moving away from each other proportional to their distance. Twice as far, twice as fast, three times as far, three times as fast, just like we saw in the previous video. And here to illustrate, for example, if we have two galaxies that are one megaparsec apart, again, what is one megaparsec? Well, one megaparsec, mega means million, and parsec is 3.26 light years. So one million parsec is 3.26 million light years away from us. And then, if you convert that to kilometers, that's of course an enormous number. We talk about these huge, absolutely huge distances. Can you imagine three times 10 to the 22nd kilometers? That's a distance that's beyond comprehension, but yet that's two galaxies that are relatively close together. Space is just absolutely that enormous, and when I say space this time, I meant really the universe. So what we have to realize is that if a galaxy or two galaxies are one megaparsec apart, they're moving away from each other at 70 kilometers per second. So an observer on this galaxy will see this galaxy moving this way at 70 kilometers per second. An observer on this galaxy will move, see this galaxy move in the opposite direction at 70 kilometers per second. If the galaxies are two megaparsecs apart, that means that the speed, the recession speed, or the speed at which this galaxy moves away from this galaxy, would be twice as much, or 140 kilometers. And if the distance between three gal two galaxies is three megaparsec, the speed at which they move away from each other is 210 kilometers per second, and so forth. It didn't take long to realize, well, wait a minute, how long would it have taken for these two galaxies to move apart from each other when a long time ago they were very very close together. So the idea then came about to realize that galaxies must have been very close together in the past because they're now all moving away from each other. And so how long would it have taken for all the galaxies to move to their current distances? And then you realize that wow it would take the exact the same amount of time for these two galaxies to move away from each other if they started together as it did for these two galaxies. Because even though the distance is twice as much, they're moving twice as fast. And in this case, when the, these two galaxies are three times as far away from each other, but since they're moving three times as fast, they would have taken the exact same amount of time to move to their current position if they were really, really close before. So then the idea came about to say, well, at one point in time, far ago, all the galaxies must have been really, really close together, and they've all moved to their current position today, not because the galaxies are moving, because space between them is expanding, kind of unfurling in a way, kind of a coiled spring that's just kind of pushing all the galaxies away from each other. So how long ago were the galaxies really close together? And was that the beginning of the existence of the universe. So if you can figure that out, we then know the age of the universe. So that means that the Hubble constant, which is known to be around 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec, and then if we take the inverse of that, one over the Hubble constant, that is equal to the age of the universe. So first of all, the discovery of the Hubble law, knowing that everything was expanding, and it was expanding because the space in between was expanding, whatever space is made out of. And then we realized that everything must have been together in the same vicinity, together, in a clump, so to speak, a long time ago, and that everything moved to its current position in the same amount of time. And so when everything was close together, that must have been the beginning of the universe, and one over that Hubble constant is the age of the universe. In other words, if we take, for example, that two galaxies are this far apart in kilometers, and we divide that by the speed of 70 kilometers per second, that tells us how many seconds it took for two galaxies to be that far apart. These two galaxies, these two galaxies, these two galaxies, two galaxies that are a thousand megaparsec away from each other, same thing, it took them that long to get to that position because space in between is expanding everywhere in the universe at the same rate. So this many seconds is this many days is this many years. Little less 
than 14 billion years. And so the conclusion is now that the universe is roughly about 13.8 billion years old because the latest numbers they came out with for the Hubble constant is around 72 kilometers per second. And therefore the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. At least that was the point in time when all the galaxies were really close together and over the last 13.8 billion years they've moved out to where they are today because space in between them is expanding and pushing them away from each other and that is what is happening.